It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. Happy April Fool's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one, those on the front lines of the battle against coronavirus continue to plead for protective masks, gowns, and ventilators from state and government leaders. Hard-hit New Orleans is preparing for more deaths related to the coronavirus. Officials say the city is tracking at about a 5% mortality rate. Ann Taylor, Loft, and Neiman Marcus are joining Macy's and other retailers in furloughing thousands of employees amid store closures. Number two, Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky is calling the impeachment hearing of Donald Trump as the reason for the slow response to the coronavirus. The Senate Majority Leader is saying, that's right, the spread of the coronavirus is the fault of Democrats. Could we have avoided this horrific time in which we are living if Donald Trump had not tried to destroy everything Obama-related? And that includes the dismantling of the White House's National Security Council Directorate for Global Health Security and Biodefense. That's the office in charge of getting ahead of pandemics that the Trump administration closed down in 2018. Number three, Reina Zoe Mungin, a 30-year-old Black woman in New York, is on life support after being denied the coronavirus test. She experienced all of the symptoms associated with the virus and was rushed to the hospital three times and sent home. The final time, she was intubated and put on a ventilator. This woman is yet another example that this virus is real. Please check on your family and friends. Make sure that they are taking all necessary safety precautions not to get infected. And just don't take no as an answer. Number four, leading Democrats, including Congresswoman Ayanna Presley and Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, have called upon the Secretary of Health for coronavirus data as it relates to people of color. The letter to the Health Secretary Azar stated, the lack of information will exacerbate existing health disparities and result in the loss of lives in vulnerable communities. The information will assist in determining how much is needed in terms of resources and how will those resources, the tests, the ventilators, and medical personnel will be used most effectively in our community. Number five, a lawsuit was filed this week against the Zoom video conferencing app for sharing personal information of users with third parties like social media giant Facebook without consent. The information shared included the type of device using Zoom and an advertising element that allowed target advertising of the user. Zoom announced it has removed the tool which sends the personal info to Facebook and others. Visit BlackAmericaWeb.com to subscribe to my free daily newsletter featuring these top stories and more. I'm Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Be informed, be empowered.